I got, I got nothing. I straight up have nothing. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Ryobot 05 Sugumori. Being a Ryobot, you're going to expect a few things here. You're going to expect some amazing detail, some pretty decent articulation, and you're going to expect it to come with some stuff. And these figures look just really good. But what you guys want to see right now is that articulation. The head can look up. Notice the segmented neck joint. Look down. Tilt side to side and go around side to side only that far. There's a ball joint and stem connecting the shoulder to the torso allows it to go back and forth like so and the arm can only go up that high because of the restriction due to the shoulder armor. The arms can go around 360 degrees. Ah, with below the shoulder. Double jointed elbow, ball jointed wrist. Ooh, Sugumori just got nails did. Look at that. Look at them pretty nails. Got done at the beauty salon. Pretty beautiful nail. Looking all good. Look, look at that. Look at them. Mmm, Quinn just got them nails done. Girl. There are three joints at the torso. One here, one here, and one here. So, combined, all three of them can go back that far. Go forward that far. Tilt side to side and of course we can get some of that body copter ah. it's also got this weird tail flappy flip thingy can go up and down like so and then this panel can open up for extra ice cream scoopy action it's like there's this weird joint system in the crotch area Allows the leg to move back and forth like so. And uh, let's try it with this leg. Up and down. And also with the ball joint, the legs can come out that far for the pa 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 pa. Wow! The legs can kick forward that hard and kick back that hard single jointed knee the ball jointed ankle allows for it to go up that far and down that far but there really isn't too much happening in the ankle rockers but we do have this awesome toe hinge that lets the toes go completely flat for Perfect ballet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now that we've seen that articulation, let's look at some gimmicks and accessories. Folding the panel down on the left arm reveals the Gatling gun. It's pretty tiny though. You can also take the back thruster. It has two hinges. You can move up like so. And you can extend it for the full boost mode. And when you do that, these actual panels right here retract inside has two sets of high vibration blades. And of course, he's going to come with the Kabi Sashi. Let's not forget the ballistic acceleration device. So, uh... Ain't nobody gonna talk about how my nigga looking like a uh, dendrobium, or better yet, he looking like something straight out of your car. You know, you flip, you press the button, you press the button, you flip, you change white. You look just like the nigga on the car. Look at the nigga. Look at the nigga. Hey man, get your get your camera, get your camera. Look at that shit. Just put that shit right above it. Put that shit right above it. Oh shit, what we got? We got some schmucks, man. We just did the bitch move side to side like this. Come on, some pop 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 But you press the R button, it goes. Man, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, I ain't hating. Everybody know I ain't hating, I'm just saying. Why is this thing so fucking huge? There is also this extra head, if you, like, look at it. Like, it's got, like, an opening. It, like, resembles the, uh, 
Higgs particle cannon, like he shoots a little beam out of his eye. But it's kind of it's kind of a pain in the ass to put put up there, so I, I don't really do it. And of course, it's got like um, hands. There's this one hand. It's got like a little like really hand, like like hand. Um, he, uh, he, he, of course, you know, he's got like open hands and you know like like this, and you know, he's got like splayed open hands like that. And you know he's got holding, holding thing hands for the little holdy holds. Um, he's got a not one but a two. To see he's got he's got that stand right there, and he also has uh, this a stand right here. So yeah, he's got he's a uh, he's got some stuff. Yeah. Um, figure I do have like a qualm with it right up in here in these shoulders they could have done a little better but aside from that everything else is awesome this amount of accessories you know with the two stands and that detail but this is a sentinel figure and if any of my people watching this we know that they love putting those high prices so this is technically a high-end figure so you're looking to spend anywhere between 80 to 100 bucks i bought this off a friend so there you go but there is an option there's a figma coming out so if you could wait i suggest getting the figma but if you don't mind shelling out the money this guy is definitely worth a buy and that's about all i have to say thanks for watching the review and i'll see you guys next time